While we struggle to find meaning in this troubled country of ours, I reach back to the writings of those that came before us. Clem McSpadden wrote this, while his Cowboy Prayer might be one of his most famous writings, this ranks up there with it. I've added just a couple of words to this famous writing of his. He called it, If Our Flag Could Talk. I was born on the 4th of July, back in 1776. And as they say out west, I was bred right. My father was the Bill of Rights, and my mother the Declaration of Independence. I am many things to many people. I am America. I am more than 200 million strong, and the ghosts of those who died for me. Ever since Betsy Ross sowed my first stars and stripes, there have been trouble spots in this world. I've always answered that call and stayed till it was over, over there. By so doing, I've left many of my finest young men and women who made the supreme sacrifice to perpetuate what I stand for. I've left them in places like Iwo Jima, Tarawa, Korea, and Vietnam. And more recently, the Persian Gulf, and oh yes, Afghanistan. I'm a wheat field in Kansas, and a cotton field down south. I'm the Golden Gate Bridge, and a wobbly-legged calf, getting his first bit of nourishment from his mama in the rangeland of the west. I'm old Freckles Brown riding a bull that had never been ridden at the National Finals Rodeo in Oklahoma City. In the crack of a bat at a World Series game, I'm 300,000 churches where my people worship as they choose. And the hushed voice of choir in a cathedral. I was born in freedom, and God willing in freedom, I'll spend the rest of my days May my people always have the strength, the integrity, and the courage to keep me free and a beacon of hope for the free world. Yes, that's what I would say if I could talk. Jim Lyons.